Welcome back, my friends. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We are here at the Ohio County Public Library in Miss Leanne's office, and today we are talking about acorns. Can you see that little guy? Okay, so Miss Leanne went out this morning trying to find some acorns. Now, if you watched story time yesterday, you know that I made the comment that I found buckeyes and I found walnuts, but I couldn't find any acorns. So the lesson for today is to open your eyes and look because this morning I was in the same place. I was at the tree right next to the tree with the walnuts and acorns. I'd completely not been paying enough attention. Now, I think that our friends, the squirrels, got to most of our acorns because I could only find four and mine are really little. Oh, that's a, that's a good picture though. So we have, let's see, we have that little guy. We have this sort of squatty round guy and I have two teeny tiny little acorns. And if you can see that, see they're still on their stem where they were hanging off of the tree. Now, all week long, I have been asking you what grows from an acorn. You know, right? What kind of tree did this come off of? It came off of an oak tree. So if you thought oak tree, you were right. Like I said, the oak tree this morning was right next to the walnut tree and I didn't pay any attention. So we have acorns. Now, like I said, squirrels really love these things. So when I got there this morning, most of these were just the little caps. They ate the good part. So we have a couple stories today to talk about acorns. And then I have a scavenger hunt for you. So we are going to start with our story because of an acorn. This is by Lola M. Schaefer and Adam Schaefer, and it is illustrated by Fran Preston Gannon. This one right now has not been cataloged for the collection. So if you want to check this one out, give us a couple days, okay? I just opened the box to get this book out. So it's not really ready for patrons to check it out. See, there's no stickers on the side. There's no barcode on the back that says Ohio County Public Library. So it's not quite ready for you guys to see yet, but it is ready for Miss Leanne to read to you. So, whoops. I tried to move the laptop and got all wonky. So, because of an acorn. Because of an acorn, a tree. Because of a tree, a bird. Because of a bird, a seed. Because of a seed, a flower. Because of a flower, a fruit. Because of a fruit, a chipmunk. Because of a chipmunk, a snake. Because of a snake, a hawk. Because of a hawk, an acorn. Because of an acorn, a forest. And this one, like many of the books that I've been reading to you lately, have lots of extra information in the back about some of the things that we read about in the book. That's a super short one for today. So I have one that's just a little bit different. Acorn to Oak Tree. This is a very little nonfiction book. Nonfiction books are awesome for teaching us things. And because this is such a little book, because our other book, while it was a little bigger, was a pretty short little story, we're going to talk about some other things that you see in a nonfiction book. A nonfiction book is filled with facts. 
So if I open up a book, so we have the parts, the parts of the book. So we have the cover, we have the spine. The spine is what you see on the shelf. Our spine. Let's see if I can get up here where you guys can see. There you go. That's a pretty good one. Acorned oak tree. And you see part of a sticker. This is a skinny mini little book. So that sticker for the library wraps around the book, which means it's really hard for us to put it on the shelf and find it because there's not a whole lot there to see. But when I open up the book, I can see the title page gives us all sorts of information. Like this is a rookie read aloud science book. So it's for little kids. It gives us our title and our author, this is by Lisa M. Heathering Harrington, sorry, gives us some other information. And it opens up to a page called the table of contents. A table of contents in a nonfiction book is going to tell us where we can find the information that we're looking for. So when I open up this book, I can see the title of what they're going to be talking about and the page number that that's going to be on. We're not going to read the whole book. We're just gonna read some parts of it. So remember we said an acorn is the seed for an oak tree, so mighty oaks. And I am going to kind of peel this back so you can see the picture of the tree. Let's see. There we go. All right, so trees are made up of four parts, the roots, trunk, branches, and leaves. An oak tree is one type of tree. It can grow very tall. Some mighty oaks live to be more than 400 years old. An oak tree's life begins with an acorn. Acorns are the seeds of an oak tree. Inside an acorn's hard shell is the seed. They look just like our acorns, except ours are still a little bit green. In fall, acorns drop to the ground. In spring, an acorn's shell cracks open. A tiny root pushes out the shell and down into the soil. A small shoot or stem pushes up from the acorn. Tiny leaves unfold from the shoot. The small shoot grows into a young tree. It's called a sapling. The tree has a very thin branches and just a few leaves. Can you see that little baby tree there? It's a pretty little one. Each year, the tree grows bigger and bigger. More leaves appear. The tree's trunk and branches become thicker. That's a big, pretty oak tree. Seasons of change. In fall, most oak leaves change colors. The leaves then drop to the ground. In spring, buds form on the branches of the tree. New leaves will open from the buds. In summer, flowers grow in, on adult trees. The flowers are called catkins. They help the tree make new acorns. Can you see those little catkins? There they are. And that is where we are going to stop with our acorn to oak tree today. Now, I told you I had a scavenger hunt for you. Now, I printed off a sample. On our walk, we saw. Now, you could get online. I just looked it up on Pinterest. You could get online and you could find something like this and you could take it on your walk with you. And depending on how old you are, maybe you just want to put a check mark if you saw a tree and a check mark if you saw a squirrel. Maybe if you're a little bit older, you would want to put down numbers. Like I saw three squirrels on this walk. Or if you're a little bit older, maybe you want to make your own chart of the things that you think you want to look for while you were out on your scavenger hunt. So you could draw one. You could use your words and write it out. If you don't want to draw the picture, you could write out tree. Maybe if you're a little bit older, or maybe if you would like to take this time to talk to the grown up you're with, maybe you could look for different kinds of trees. There are lots of different kinds of trees right here in our area. Remember, I said I saw a buckeye tree, 
that's right down from my house. Every year I, I like looking to see when the buckeyes drop off of the tree. I saw a walnut tree, it was a black walnut tree, and I saw an oak tree. And those are just the ones that I noticed because I saw their seeds down on the ground. I might not have paid any attention to that walnut tree had I not seen those big husks for those walnuts laying on the sidewalk this morning. So maybe you could talk to the big person that you're going to go on a walk with. And maybe you could pick out a couple kinds of trees that you like to look for. So that while you're out, instead of just walking along, you can be using your eyes and you can be looking for some different things. So what about animals that you might see on your walk? Maybe you'll look for squirrels. Maybe you'd look for chipmunks or deer. Um, when Miss Leanne goes for her morning run, she likes to count cats. It makes me happy. And it's a fun way to pass the time by counting cats on my run. So maybe you want to see how many cats do you see? Or how many dogs do you see? How many birds do you see? Right now, there are lots of birds flying through the area migrating south for winter. So now is a really good time to be looking for some birds. Are there certain kinds of birds you would like to look for? Maybe you like the state bird of West Virginia, the cardinal. Maybe you could look for those. Maybe you like hawks, like in our story. Remember, because of an acorn, there were several animals in here, especially if you looked at the pictures. There were bears. Miss Land's never seen a bear around here unless she's been at the zoo, but it could happen. Um, there were chipmunks and snakes. Have you seen any snakes this summer? Hmm, there's our bear again and our squirrel. And I'm pretty sure, weren't there some deer? Oh, there were. There were some deer in here. So maybe you could be looking for something like that. Have you ever seen a bald eagle around here? I have right here in Wheeling a few times. But you know what? You have to look up. And you have to pay attention to what you're looking for. So when you're out looking around, if you're out playing, if you're out taking a walk, even if you're in the car, those times that I saw the bald eagle, almost all of them were when I was riding in the car. One time I was walking and saw one overhead, which was really cool. So open your eyes and take a walk. Or if you have someplace to go with a big person today and you're going to be in the car, that's okay. You can do a scavenger hunt from the car just as well. It might be a little hard to see some small things, but maybe you could pick out some big things. Maybe you could, if you're going to be out on the road, maybe you could look for certain cars like blue trucks, for example. Every time you see a blue pickup truck, write it down. So that is our story and our activity for today. Just a reminder that starting next week, you can make an appointment to come in and look around the library to pick out some stuff. I know some of my friends have already told me that they have their time picked out next week and that they're on the list and that they're coming to see me. So I hope that I get to see more of you. If you can't do that, Maybe you're not quite ready to be out looking around places. I understand. You can still let us know. We can pull some books for you. I've had a lot of fun, fun this summer with some of my friends who have called and asked me to put together a stack of books about a certain theme. So if you want to do that, please call the library at 304-232-0244 and let us know what you're looking for. Or you can get on the website, Ohio County Library dot org and you can pick some things out that we will put together for you and walk them right out to your car you don't even have to get out so i hope you guys have a fantastic day i hope i see you very soon stay safe stay healthy i miss all of you very very much next week we will have a different theme so we will just have to find out what that is right do you want me to look Hold on, I'll look. I don't remember. I think it's leaves. Do you think? Leaves? That sounds right. Ah, it is. Leaves. So Monday's story time. Monday's toddler time. Actually, I think this book might be checked out. We might have to take a, a change on that one. Um, Tuesday's story time will be Leaf Man. 
And our activity and story will be Little Yellow Leaf next week. So get ready to read some books about leaves changing. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.